Josh Cox, American 50K record holder. I live and train in Mammoth Lakes, California. So yesterday I was in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I ran the Rock and Roll Las Vegas Marathon and I uh, used it as a training run. Basically in training we do the first 10 to 12 miles, kind of kind of moderate, and then try and lock in that marathon pace for the back half. And so that's what I did out there on the course. I came through halfway in uh, 75 minutes or so, and then uh, had a couple guys in front of me and was fortunate enough to be able to run them down and uh, won the race. My key race this build up is the Rock and Roll Arizona. It's a PF Chang's race down there in the Phoenix area. And uh, it's where I set the 50K uh, American record last year in 2009. And so I'll be returning in January of 2011 to give it another shot. Hopefully better my American record and uh, take a shot at the world record as well. Titles are forever, records are borrowed. And records are a cool thing because you're not only beating everyone out there that day, but you're beating everyone forever. And you know, for all the Americans that ever ran a 50K, I'm the fastest. And a world record is even more because it's not just the people on the start line that day, but it's all the people ever in the history. So records are cool, but really this whole thing is uh, just being faithful with what you've been given. And uh, in life, it's all about just being faithful with the talents that you've been given. And I want to get the most out of what's been given to me. And that's why we're up in the mountains, up in Mammoth, running 100, 120 to 175 miles a week. So it's a tough business, but it's fun. It's a fun business. CEP is great. Uh, I think a lot of people, they spend so much time developing their training program. Our coach always says, look, the training is easy. That the three, four hours a day you're actually out there running and you're lifting weights and doing these things, which some days is even six and seven hours worth of stuff. The real key is what you're doing the other 18 to 20 hours a day. It's all about recovery. Recovery begins the second your run ends. And CEP plays a huge role in that. I always have my socks on, uh, under my jeans, whenever it is, uh, it's all about getting recovered and CEP's my number one tool for recovery.